All right, we're gonna go ahead and continue our media availabilities for today. We are now joined by our 2024 regular season champion, Tyler Reddick. Uh, we'll go right to questions. We'll take as many as we can. Uh, we'll start down here with Bob and then go to Dustin. What? Uh, uh, no, that pretty much tops it. That's the worst I've felt. Um, I don't know. I guess it's just a stomach bug or something. <laughs> My, uh, <clears throat> my 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 son was feeling a little down um, last week uh, at Daytona. We had taken the infield care center after the race, and um, he was struggling pretty pretty bad um, on on race day on Saturday. And uh, yeah, I feel like midday Friday I started really struggling, and um, I was hoping Saturday morning it'd be gone. And it was it was terrible on Saturday, and. I uh, woke up Sunday with the same hope he'd be gone again and um, felt good pretty much all the way up until the race. And um, I don't know, it's just must have been the bump off of two or something. It just really, really, really got bad by the end of stage one. Um, and it just stayed there the rest of the way. So just really thankful that uh, a lot of great people on our team, um, they're feeding me the right stuff in the car um, to help me manage it best I could. Um, just, just smart people, um, able to, you know, put the right stuff in the, in my drink to kind of help calm my stomach down. Uh, just at one point I, I was just waiting to puke all over myself and thankfully they, they kept that from happening and a whole lot of other gross stuff. So, um, we were able to avoid a lot of that, which is nice, but it was extremely uncomfortable in the car all night. So you weren't puking? I thought I was going to, I really did. Going at the end of stage one, I thought I was, I thought it was happening as soon as the yellow came out. Huh? Uh, I, I held on for dear life all night. I thought it was going to happen, but yeah. I, I really actually wanted to just get it out because it was it was really, really bad. And um, I took some modium at the infield care center earlier, and um, that was probably the worst thing for me because I couldn't get anything out that I really wanted. So it was just a rough night. That note will go to Dustin and then to Jordan. <laughs> yeah, it was, yes, yeah, Bob, I know. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Uh, how does somebody get through a night like that? Uh, well, a, a fast car certainly helps. Um, it, it really showed it in practice. Um, yeah, it was really, really strong in practice. And it, it, when I was feeling good, you know, we started off the race in stage one, and I just thought, all right, you know, we get we get into these green flag cycles, I'll have a shot to, to get to the lead, and that's just – kind of when things started to spiral out of control. But the car was really, really strong right from the get-go. Um, it was tough, man, when you just were bleeding points to the five in the middle of the race. I was trying to think of what I needed to do to go faster, and it was just really, really hard to focus on that stuff. I, I, I just, I was just not able to really do what I normally do good here um, in the car. So I was just, I don't know, I was just kind of, driving with one hand it almost felt like I, I don't know how to really describe it it was just it was really tough in the car so, so how do you uh, tricks not the right word but how do you trick yourself to not focus on what you're feeling and focus on what you've got going on as oh, you're but what point? we're yeah I mean uh, to answer that it's just what we have right in front of us we're we're trying to win this thing um win the regular season and I mean that's where we're, that's what we're mindful of the whole whole way um just trying to think of what we could do to stay in the hunt of that. You know, we got to stage three, and we were just thinking, okay, what do we, you know, how, how many points are we behind? Where do we need to be? And we just we, we, went, we went to work on what we need to do to try and put ourselves in position to, to get there. And, I mean, it just it, it took things out of our control to make it happen. You know, some cars got in front of the five, and that uh, that's ultimately what allowed us to get it from 10th. But... Yeah, you just got to fight all night long. You know, you never can count on that happening, right? The best car all night, losing control of the race. Um, but you have to be in position to take advantage of it in case it does. Last thing is, what does that trophy mean? What does the regular season championship mean to you? I know you've got more to go, but what, is that, what does that trophy right there mean to you? 
Yeah, it's just a testament to all the hard work that everyone at 2311 um, here here at the racetrack week in and week out or, or back at airspeed puts into this. Um, you know, we're we're on year year four of of their of their goals, right? And it's just been really really fun uh, the last two years to be a part of this process, building up to where we want to be. And um, I mean, it just it takes a lot of hard work to be cons consistent as we've been. Uh, through the summer stretch, the the year, both years, I really feel like we had rocky starts to get going. But um, it, it's nice to be able to 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 get to where we did in the middle of the year and start thinking about points. Um, I think it really helped us just continue to be more consistent and uh, get us in the right mindset for these playoffs. You know, just manage risk versus reward. Um, we'll be doing it three races at a time here soon. We'll come down here to Jordan. Jordan Bianchi, The Athletic, at what point this year did you start to think winning the regular season championship was obtainable? I think it, I think it became a lot more possible. I, I don't know. I feel like the, the first race I really started to think it could happen or we had a shot at it within a, a race of points. I think it was after, like, Chicago. Uh, you know, the five – was right there in the mix with us and, and took a big hit on points. I think a lot of, you know, normal top contenders had some shaky days just due to crazy circumstances. I think that was the first one where we were kind of like, okay, like we're starting to creep in on it. And then it just um, things continued to kind of, you know, just fall. And we just kept getting closer and closer and closer. Um, it was just, it happened pretty quick. It felt like. Your teammate tonight, uh, Bubba, fell short of making the playoffs. What would you say to him, or what will you say to him to, uh, as he kind of get through, as he goes through this? There's, well, I mean, honestly, I feel like that stuff. Well, I mean, there, there's a number of things, right? I could say, but I feel like honestly, it's probably best we keep it between me and him, right? Um, it's it's tough. I've. I've been in his spot. It's 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 not fun um, to be that close and just miss it, man. Um, there's it's, it's 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 tough to go back and look on. You know, you can pick apart the races right each weekend. It's like, man, we gave up points here, or there. It's it's a tough thing. Um, but for them, you know, uh, if they just go out through the rest of this and focus on um, continuing to improve that consistency. Um, you know, they'll be better off for next year. At the end of the day, though, there's just some things you can't control, man. Um, I feel like a lot of times this year, they've just been right in the middle of stuff happening on the racetrack. And a lot of times this year, I don't know how to explain it, when things have happened on the racetrack, I've I've missed it and been able to benefit from it. I don't call you call it what you will, right? But it's just, it's just sometimes how racing can go. So I, I know they can get better, and I know they will get better. Um, and they have a great opportunity here over the rest of this year to reload and be ready to go for, for next time. All right, we have time for one or two more questions. Are there any questions down here? Okay, and press box. All right, Tyler, congratulations. Thanks for joining us for a little right. bit. Thank you, guys. I'm probably going to crash it before I got out. <laughs> Not by choice, though, you know what I mean? Uh, they were speculating that Truex go out so early that maybe... All right, there's the checkered flag. Great job, driver.